Now I would like to show you how to put the Katsu armbands on yourself. There's a few tips that make this a lot easier. Most importantly, hooking the tubes up to the bands before you put the bands onto your arm. That makes it a lot easier when you try to put this clip onto there and try to push it through and it, it can become a little complicated. Take the Katsu cycle. This time, you're all by yourself, Steve. All right. So you're gonna go and do a workout. I would like you to clip this onto your belt. Okay. So I want you to face that away. All right. Okay, and you can clip it on your belt. There you go. So now, again, starting with the non-dominant arm. Hold on, please. Uh-huh. So clip down onto there. You may have to wiggle it around. You may have to press down on that little clip. You're gonna push it in there. Yep. Okay, perfect. Now go ahead and connect the other side as well. All right. You got your right band, you got your left band. You got them connected. While you're doing this, if the katsu turns on, if you already have it on, and it starts to inflate, all you have to do is hit that power button, just press it for one second and it'll deflate. So if you accidentally hit a button and it starts doing something, just hit the power button, it'll shut right off. Now that you have these connected to the bands, you want to take the strap and you want to thread it through that eyelet, just like that. <coughs> okay, again, making sure that that tube's down. If that tube's on top of your arm like that, it may kink and it may not fill uh, as well as it should. So again, the tube's pointing down, Put that in the eyelid, take your thumb and your index finger, and I like to pinch that just to hold that in place. And then you're gonna slip your left arm in there. While you're doing that, hold that in there. If it slips out, that's okay. You may have to do it again. But just slide that up on top of your arm, right up in that armpit. So you're aiming right up in there for that armpit. You wanna make sure your shirt's not wrinkled on the side right there. <clears throat> so you can use that arm to kind of push that over or adjust the placement of the strap. And then you're gonna pull that tight and pull it up underneath your arm. You wanna line up that Velcro strap so it's on the strap and not on your shirt. And so once you do it the first time, let your arm relax, let it hang, kind of wiggle it around a little bit. And it may need to be a little adjusted. You want, to be, you want it to be above your bicep but below your shoulder, so right in that crease in your upper arm. Get it up in there, nice and snug. And if you need to, you can tighten it even more, pull it down. So notice how when I'm tightening this, grabbing overhand like that, and I'm pulling away from my body, raising the arm, and sliding it under like that. Okay, how's it feel? Unbelievable. Great, okay, show me the right side. So you've got it connected. Right, this is a little felt one. Got yep. the tube down. I put it through, thread and thread it. Get it started. Hold it with my thumb, my mm -hmm. finger. You may, that's a pretty good way to do that too. I like to do it just like that. Or whatever is the easiest for you. There you go, so putting that on, perfect. I had it with the wrong hand, that was the problem. There you go. Yep, yep. you're doing great. Okay. Wiggle it in there. Get it up in there. Perfect. Now pull it tight. Go up under there. Mm -hmm. Tighten out my clothes. Make sure it's about a finger in there. Yeah, it may need to go a little bit tighter. But again, this is something that you're going to do based on your own body. Right. Some people like it really tight. Some people like it a little loose for the base pressure so that when the cycle relaxes, there's a little bit more flow in and out. Okay. Feeling good? I feel good. Okay, so then go ahead and do the group or pro. So pick one or the other. Again, we'll start with a little bit lower on the arms. Uh, and then you can gradually okay, work now on do it. I push the group button and the other button on top at the same time, group and low? No, you want to push the G mm -hmm. or the P first. Okay, G. There you go. Just see, notice how the green light's on there? Oh, so that means it, it registered. Now the L, the M, or the H? Well, I'll start out with the L like I did. Okay, perfect. 
perfect. So now you're all set up, ready to go. And from there, we start doing the three-point exercises, the finger clenches, move your wrists around, pull it in, pull it out. Think about trying to contract the muscles in your arms from your fingertips all the way up to the bands, nice and slow. Take a deep breath, get some oxygen in there, wiggle your finger. When you do katsu, there are some changes that your body goes through. Just like any other exercise, there are some physiological responses that your body does. So, this is Steve's first time. You want to ask them, how do they feel? Do they feel any different, any sort of lightheaded, any sort of nausea, any sort of stomach ache, anything different other than just tightness in your hands? If at any point in time, something feels uncomfortable, you hit the power button and that cuts it off automatically. Take the bands off and everything should return to normal. You want to check that capillary refill time. If for any reason it takes longer than three seconds for the blood to pull back up into the arm, you want to stop it, discontinue it for that session, maybe try it another day. How do you feel? I feel great. Pretty I good, don't right? I feel nausea or I don't, you know, I don't feel like it's taking away my breathing effort. Well, just so you know that when you put these bands on your arms, it's slowing the venous return back to your heart. The veins are taking the blood back to the heart. Now what's going on is that the heart and the receptors in and around your heart are noticing there's less blood coming back. So it's going to try to adjust that accordingly by changing your heart rate, changing your breathing pattern, changing your blood vessel diameter. They're going to constrict, you're going to dilate. Your body is going to try to return to homeostasis by changing what it can to accommodate what you're doing. There's a few things to consider when you're doing some of the exercises, especially if you're at a gym. You have tubes hanging from your arms connected to the Katsu cycle. Now, the Katsu cycle is designed not to uh, break if the tubes get pulled. So if something pulls on the tube, it's designed to disconnect. That's, yeah, so you don't want to rip it. This is not going to rip the tube. They're designed to disconnect if you catch on to something and it pulls and you're not, you know, paying attention and it pulls it right off. So that's okay. That's very easily fixable. Now, what I do is I'll usually start over because once that tube pulls out, you'll notice that you'll lose pressure in the band. So you may have to start over. What you do is you take the tip of that tube. You see that little plastic piece right there. So what I found is that if you pinch that down like that, it exposes the tip of that little plastic tube a little bit more. Right. And so then you can wiggle that rubber hose right back on. So line it up, wiggle it around, and you'll find that it fits right back on there. You may have to line it up, pinch it, push it up, and there you go back in action. Now, where the tube connects to the actual band here, this is not going to disconnect. You have to push that button to get that to disconnect. So push that button and that will disconnect and now you're ready to roll. Okay? One thing that I've also found to be very helpful is I will wear a hoodie or a long sleeve shirt over the bands so that I don't catch on things because I'm always moving around and if I'm working out, I'm not really paying attention to what's going on around me, so I catch on to things. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll get connected, and then I'll put a long sleeve shirt over me so it holds everything in place. The only drawback is, is when you switch from the arms to the legs, you have to reach up in there and pull that out. And that's not a big deal, but something to be aware of.